Meron ko. <laughs> Parang lasing si Eunice. Huwag <gasps> Hey guys, what's up? It's Eunice and welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. <laughs> so I can't believe we're at Day 5. I'm struggling because I'm not a daily vlogger. Like, lifestyle vlogs are not my thing. I'm more of a sit-down, review type of girl. Pero we're breezing through it. It's Day 5. Tama ba Day 5? Yeah, I think so. Day 5 pa lang. Yeah, kasi ano bang date ngayon? Nine. Yeah, day five. <laughs> anyway, I have an important call today. So, ayan, medyo nakabihis tayo. Medyo business casual. <laughs> and then, ka shorts ako underneath. Denim shorts na. <laughs> Kasi, upper body lang naman makikita sa calls. But anyway, I need to do that this morning. So, important call this morning. And then, after na tayo ulit mag -usap. But before that, I wanted to open today's product. Kasi, day five. Uh oh Medyo malaki siya. So, I'm wondering what this is. Ooh, we got a sponge! Real Techniques na sponge. This is super useful kasi nagbe-makeup naman ako araw-araw. Although, hindi naman ako araw-araw na nagsa-sponge recently. I've used this before and this is this used to be one of my favorite sponges. Up until nagkaroon na si Elf, nagkaroon na si Wet n Wild, and si Anna Kai na air blender. Kaso wala na yata air blender ngayon. Parang hindi pa siya available. But anyway, this used to be my favorite. So I'm excited to use it again. So, yeah, maybe we can use it so we can, I don't know, it's a Friday, should I, yeah, I'll vlog a Friday naman. Oh, perfect, I, I'm vlogging Friday. Let's use this a Friday, I'll do like a full coverage look for Friday. Tsaka magpifilm din ako ng video nun eh. Kasi nakaliva ko this Friday, so yeah. Very happy with this, kasi it's really something that I use. Ang laki nung um, portion niya. So yeah, halfway the tayo. Okay, so time to work. But before that, I got Starbucks. Binila na ako ni Daddy. Well, nag-order ako online, tas kinuha niya. Um, what did I get? So I got lang, I decided to cheat today. Usually, nagko-cold brew lang ako. Pero today, I got like a festive drink. Is this festive? Hindi yata to festive, pero chestnut praline latte. Tall lang, para hindi masyadong madami. Kasi baka magpalpitate na naman ako. And then, usual order ko ng breakfast sandwich is reduced fat turkey bacon. Ayan. So, ito lagi na order ko para it satisfies yung craving ko for something savory. Pero it's kind of light compared to their other breakfast sandwiches. And then... Before I start with work, I wanted to show you guys. Mayroon akong mini haul. Inopen na namin siya yesterday ng sister ko. Not sure if you guys are familiar with this, pero slime. Actually, before, parang nung nauso yung slime. Okay, sandwich ko. Ano sa baba? Sana. Sa counter. Okay. Daddy. <laughs> pero nung nauso yung slime, hindi ako masyadong into it. Tapos yung sister ko bumibili siya ng slime dito sa isang... Um, a teen entrepreneur. Nakita ko lang siya din sa TikTok kasi lumabas siya sa For You page ko. 17 years old pa lang siya. Tapos nakakabenta siya ng 10,000 slimes per week. Tapos na-interested lang ako sa kanya. Tapos pinalo ko na siya. And then, sobrang cute ng mga slime na ginagawa niya. Lagi may theme. Tapos scented. Ganyan. Tapos nag-order nga yung sister ko. Tapos usually, when I'm on calls, I play with it while I'm on a call para I can focus. Kasi, for some reason, hindi ko kayang mag-stay still lang. Kailang may ginagawa yung kamay ko. So, Ayun, nung nag Black Friday sale siya, I decided to purchase some kasi wala lang. Cute na lang. <laughs> Tapos yun. Anyway, ito yung mga slime na nabili ko. So, the first one is banana milk. Ayan. Sobrang mga... Amay siya talagang... Amay siya, alam mo yung gummy bananas. I know, medyo artificial and nakakahilo yung smell nun. Pero it reminds me so much of childhood like gummy bananas na binibili namin sa candy corner whenever we go to town. Alam mo yung candy corner, if you guys are from the south, sa town, yung candy corner doon, dati, is malapit sa cinemas. Lagi kami dinadala ng grandma namin doon. At saka ni mommy. Tapos ito lang yung naaalala ko doon. Tapos, ayan na. Sobrang, I wanna play with it, pero hindi pa ako nag-wash ng hands. At saka kakain ako. Ayan. Sobrang smooth ng slime na to. And then, ito yung bago kong favorite. This one is strawberry fluff. Ang bango. Ito naman, amoy ni... Hindi siya amoy artificial strawberry. Amoy totoong strawberry siya. And, oh, smells so good. This one, I love because it doesn't stick to your hands. 
We'll play with it later. I'll show you guys kasi kakain pa ako eh. Kunyari, magsa-start pa lang kayo sa slime, mag-play with slime. I think she she ships internationally, ha? Anyway, going back, kung magsa-start pa lang kayo mag-play with slime, highly recommend this kasi ako naiirit ako when it sticks to my hand. Ito, hindi nagsistick talaga at all. Tapos meron siyang texture. So it makes that ASMR sound. And then, this one talaga yung reason kung bakit ako napa-order. This is her ramen DIY kit. So meron siya mga DIY kit na meron parang little props. Ayan, may noodles tapos may toppings pa. Oh. Open nga natin para makita nyo. Ayan. Slime din yan. And then you mix it in dun sa slime talaga. Tapos mag-iiba yung itsura niya. Ito, walang scent. Kasi nga ramen. Anong magiging amoy ng ramen? Diba? Alam nga amoy pagkain. And then, I got one more na, if my sister's watching this, please don't watch it. Kasi this is for my, part of my sister's gift. I got her. Matagal niya na tong gusto, kaso lagi na sa sold out. As in, pag nag-order ka sa website niya, within 5 minutes, ang dami na nag-sold out. So, I got her yung ice cream cake scoop. Ayan, no? Ang galing ng detail, di ba? Pero syempre, mawawala na yan when you mix it all in. So, ilalagay mo siya on top, tapos you mix mo, tapos you play with it. Tapos mag-iiba na yung formula ng slime niya. But anyway, I'll keep this by my desk so I can play later during my calls para I can focus. But for now, I am going to eat breakfast and start working. So I'll see you guys later. I think we're gonna hang up Christmas tree. No, Christmas tree. Christmas lights outside. So I think that's all that we're doing today. What else ba yung pinapagawa sa akin ni daddy? Yun lang naman yata. Kape muna tayo. I love the new Starbucks Christmas cups. Holiday cups. Wait. So it's been afternoon na. Afternoon hindi pa naman. Noon. Lunch time na. And medyo sabog ako today. I don't know what to do. So I'm gonna take a break from work and all that. And I'm gonna watch Record of Youth. Hindi mo na ka magla-lunch kasi I just had, I had that ano nga, that turkey bacon sandwich. So parang okay pa naman ako. But anyway, I'm gonna watch Record of Youth first. And gonna play with my slime to distress. <laughs> wow, stress dito eh. Pakita ko na sa inyo since tapos na naman ako kumain. So I like playing with this one. Look. Ang ASMR ng sounds niya. Ayan. Tapos hindi rin siya nagsistick. Not as sticky as the other slimes. Masarap na pag nanonood ka lang, tapos para makafocus ka sa pinapanood mo. Ako oh, kasi ganun ako eh. Hindi ko alam kung anong meron sa akin. <laughs> Hindi ko alam kung anong meron sa akin. So yeah, just watch and play with it. Magkano ba to? I think this one is $13. So it's a little bit expensive, but maganda yung quality ng slime niya. Ganda rin ng label. Parang Korean banana milk. Asian yung may-ari nito. This one is mas sticky. Ito malsik na part. May bits to eh. Banana bits. Asa na? It takes time then for you to learn how to manipulate and play with slime. As in, nung unang laro ko nito, nagagalit sa yung sister ko kasi I always complain na dumidikit siya sa hands. Pero there's a certain way pala para hindi maging ganun. Tapos ayan, ganyan ganyan. May iba na nagpapop talaga. So satisfying. Ayan, no, may banana bit. Nakikita nyo ba yun? But do you see how mas sticky to in a way? Ayan, no. So that's the banana milk. Ganun, ganun mo lang siya. Okay, so, as you can see, aray ko. Ano ba itong stop to ko? Anyway, I wasn't feeling well today. Not that I'm not feeling well, but just wasn't myself. And okay, so initially I was going to make gift tags using my Cricut Explorer Air or in die cut machine ko. Pero how do I say this? <laughs> Pero I wasn't feeling it. Parang wala akong gana. I was down today. Um, so after work, I wasn't really feeling like doing anything. And a lot of times, whenever I feel that, I'm ramen because it's my 
comfort food that makes me happy and it just lifts up my mood. But since I'm vlogging today, hindi naman ako pwedeng kumain ng ramen lang. And nakita ko, meron akong samyang. So, ito yung original recipe nila. So, hindi siya yung double spicy. Ito yung original or ayan. Pero, typically, ang kinakain ko with my boyfriend is, usually kasi nagsasamyang kami pag nag-virtual date kami. Kinakain namin yung pink, yung carbo, which is yung milk and cheese. Yun yung best combination for me. I mean, mahilig ako sa mga pero ito, sobrang ang hang nito. Bakit ka ganun yung chopsticks ko? I'm so sorry. Hindi ko alam bakit siya ka ganun. Anyway, yun nga yung favorite namin, yung milk and cheese. Tapos, meron din yung cheese. Masarap din yun. Pero, napansin ko, pag kumakain ako ng cheese, medyo umiis umuusok pa yung tenga ko ng onte. Pero, hindi as bad as this one. Hindi pa ako nag... Matagal na ako hindi nag-original na flavor. So, tignan natin kung masasurvive ko ba to. So, anyway, I decided na lang na I'll kind of like do a mukbang plus get to know me since a lot of you guys are new here, I feel like. <laughs> Parang dumami kasi subscribers ko this year and I never did like a proper introduction of myself and why I started this YouTube ta to to <laughs> and why I started this YouTube channel. So, yun. Let's start. Um, ang taas nung lamesa ko pero pwede na yan. Usog na lang natin ng onte. Ayan. So, isang subo muna. Meron din pala akong, by the way, meron akong sides ng dumplings at saka isang chocolate in case hindi ko nakayanin. Tapos, for a little bit of background, yung bowl ko na bili lang namin sa 5 below, may kasama siyang chopsticks at saka yung soup spoon. 5 dollars lang yan. Tapos, yung chopsticks ko galing Japan, kaso natapon yata yung katerno nung isa't isa, kaya ayan, black and white siya. <laughs> Nakakalo ka. Anyway, sorry gumagalo galo ako because I'm in my new swing. Wow, may pa-swing na ako. Just recently, I updated my room. Nag-paint ako ng walls. Inayos ko yung interior decor. Yung decor sa room ko. Para mas, uh, mas mature siya kasi dati puro pink. Anyway, so I'm Eunice. I'm, of course, Filipina kasi nagtatagalog ako. Hello. Lumahara ako sa Philippines um, in Manila. Born and raised there for... When did I move here? I moved here when I was 21 years old. So, I moved to the US. And the reason why I moved is because my dad lives here. Tapos, nakaplano na talaga yun from when I was in high school pa lang na I would eventually move here. So, nung nasa high school ako, in ayos na yung papers ko nun. And then, in college, nakuha ko na yung permanent residency card ko. Or like yung green card ko for me to move here kaso my parents decided na sa Philippines na lang ako mag-graduate ng college kasi na-start ko na. Sayang naman diba yung, yung first two years ko. Anyway, subo muna tayo. <laughs> hmm. So, ayun. During the first two years, ay, during the first two years. So, ayun. When I was in college, nag-visit lang ako dito sa States noon. Tapos, eventually, nung after college na, nung graduate na ako, when it was time for me to move, I moved here. Hence, nandito na ako. But how did I start my YouTube channel ba? Bakit nga ba ako nag-YouTube? So, hindi ko alam kung gaano na kata kayo katagal sa channel ko. Pero, I started this channel in... Dali, hanapin natin kung kailan yung pinakaluma kong video. So, my oldest video was posted 7 years ago. So, that was in 2013. Hindi na ako nag-lipstick kasi alam ko magiging lipstick ko yung samyang. Anyway, fast forward nga nung kinilangan ko mag-states. So, second year college ako nun. And then, kailangan ko nga pumunta dito for a couple of months. Mga five months ako dito. Halos isang buong summer. And sumasama lang ako kay daddy tsaka si, kay kuya sa work. Tapos wala, nakatunga ka lang ako dun. So, binigyan nila ako ng computer. Anong ginawa ko sa computer? YouTube lang ako ng YouTube until I stumbled upon yung... Y yung videos ni Dulce Candy 87, Bethany Mota, Still a Babe 09, and nalunod na ako sa mundo ng beauty videos and like mga morning routines, unrealistic morning routines. Yun yung uso nun sa YouTube eh. Tapos sabi ko, nung umuwi ako ng Philippines, sabi ko, kaya ko rin gawing to. Pero I never had the confidence kasi feeling ko, um, parang ang weird na I'm talking to the camera tapos ipapost ko lang sa internet, ganon. So, I kept it private. Wala akong sinishare na ibang family or friends. So, whenever I would visit sa US, ang binavlog ko, get ready with me, Halloween edition, ganyan-ganyan. Homecoming! Get ready with me for homecoming. Kahit wala namang homecoming sa school ko. 
Tapos, o oh, outfits of the week videos. Ganyan. Mga sobrang bulok pa nun. As in, film ko siya sa camera ng iPad ko. iPad ba yung gamit ko nun? Nag-film nag ba ako sa MacBook? I think yung una kong mga first few videos ko, sa MacBook ko pa siya film Yung photo booth camera nun. Tapos eventually, nag-switch over ako to an iPad. <laughs> Pero I wasn't doing it regularly. Parang every time lang I would go to the States or pag uwi ko galing States, mag ako, ganyan. When I was in high school, I taught myself how to learn Photoshop, ganyan, iMovie, dahil nga binigyan ako ng computer ng kuya ko. And then, and then, kain muna. In fairness, ha, parang, actually, medyo nararamdaman ko na sa tongue ko yung anghang. Kain muna lang, dumplings. Ay, nahulog. Ah, hintayin ako, nararamdaman ko na. So, yun, eventually, on and off siya, parang I would post a video once every three months, ganyan. Unti lang, tapos sobrang low quality, shot with my iPad, edited with iMovie, sa uh, iMovie pa nun. And then, sinop ko siya for a while, tapos wala akong ibang pinagsasabihan. The, my boyfriend at that, that time, sinabi ko sa kanya, so he knows about it. But other than that, family, friends, wala talaga akong sinasabihan at all. Only a handful of people kasi nga nahihiya ako. And then eventually, I stopped nung college kasi I got busy. Nag-film ako ng isang video when I was in Korea. Nag-aral kasi ako sa Korea nun. Parang summer clothing haul, ganyan. And then, wala na ulit. Naisip ko nga ngayon, sana nag-vlog, vlog ko yung experience ko sa Korea, di ba? Yung student exchange program. Sayang, ha? Bentang content doon. Pero that time kasi... Hindi pa, talaga, hindi pa talaga siya uso at saka medyo weird. Tsaka may roommate ako nun, nakakahiya naman. Anyway, so next stop ako nun. And then, nung nag-move na ako dito sa US fully, which was four years ago. So, four years na pala ako nakatira dito. I started it back up na talagang I post every week, ganyan, na may content ako. Kasi nga, an, apart from the fact na dito wala silang pakailaman ko anong ginagawa mo, mas madaling mabili yung mga items na nire-review ko. So, when I was in the Philippines, hindi mo siya kaagad mabibili doon. Especially yung mga maybelline, ganyan. Parang, nauna siyang i-release dito sa States, tapos, tsaka na yung sa Philippines. Mito na lang siya na sobrang nag-catch up nung sumikat na nga yung mga YouTubers sa Philippines and nag-boom na yung industry. So, hindi naman sa ano ha, pero I was one of the OGs. Charot! <laughs> Joke lang. Nung time na nagsistart pa ako dati, hindi pa ako talaga seryoso. Na gumagawa lang talaga ako for fun. I mean, up until now, I still do it for fun. Not to like earn money on anything. To be transparent and honest with you, sobrang laka na expense ko sa hobby na to. And a lot of times, ganun talaga yon When you any hobbies, malaki talaga yung magiging expense mo. Kasi you're doing it for passion eh. And when you're doing it for... Um, because you want to do it, not because you want to earn from it, you'll find yourself investing in it more. At, at least for me, that's true. Kasi gusto ko yung ginagawa ko. Or it's a different situation when this is my main job. I'm not sure if I want that to happen. Like, yes, I want that to happen. Kasi ang saya nun, di ba? If you see the influencer industry, sobrang... I mean, I'm in marketing, so I know how much we pay influencers. And I'm out... I know, at least I know how much they earn for each post. I mean, granted, it's different for each and every one. But for me, medyo malaki siya. Anyway, yun nga, nung nag-move ako dito, mas nagtuloy-tuloy na siya. Pero from before pa talaga, mahilig na kasi ako mag-ayos, sobrang arte ko. Mahilig ako sa makeup, ganyan. And back then, yung binibili ko pang makeup every time na nag-visit ako dito from the Dollar Tree, ganyan, big lots. Wow, how far you've come, di ba? Naka-hourglass ka na ngayon. May pa Chanel bronzer ka pa. But anyway, humble beginnings. Humble beginnings. We all start from somewhere. And dun mo talaga ma... Ah, ano, kung dun mo madedetermine kung gusto mo talaga yung ginagawa mo yun. Kasi ako hindi ko marirecommenda sa una pa lang, eh, bumili na kayo ng camera. Yes, quality is key. But make sure you want to do it first before you start spending money on it. Before I got to this point na bago na yung lens ko, maayos na yung camera ko, may lighting na ako. I started with, like I said, my Mac, my computer, my iPad, and then iPhone for a while. And then binili ko yung lumang point-and-shoot camera ng sister ko. 
Tapos after a year or so, um, I no, after almost two years then na yung point and shoot ni ate yung gamit ko, um, I looked up ko ano yung okay na camera. So, I landed with this Canon M50 nga. And then, a year after, I invested new lens in new lenses. Yun na yung gamit natin na lens ngayon. Hindi siya yung sa una pa lang, bibili mo na lahat ng kailangan mo. Wag kasi sayang. Lalo na kung hindi pa kayo sure kung ito talaga yung gusto nyong gawin. I mean, for fun lang to. Like I said, hobby lang to for me. And, and going back nga, ayoko naman i-close yung doors ko na sabihin ko, ay, ayoko maging influencer. Kasi sinong hindi gusto maging influencer? For me, yung ayaw ko lang is when you do influencing or like content creation full time, syempre yung, sal yung, um, yung salary mo will depend on that. And what if wala kang projects or wala kang brand deals, sobrang matumal, you'll be forced to take on brand deals that you don't really want because it will put food on the table. You know, ayaw kong mangyari yun. Gusto ko, at the end of the day, yung content na ginagawa ko and yung sinasabi ko about the product is the truth and it's what I want to share. Ayoko siyang maging controlled because of the fact that this will bring food to the table. Kaya lagi pag tinatanong ako, sinasabi ko, I don't want to do it full time. Like, I want it because it's just fun and not because it will make me richer. Parang napapansin ko, sobrang saturated niya doon, di ba? Ang dami nang gusto maging influencer. And sometimes, nagiging pare-pareho na din yung content nila. It could be just me na kailangan ko i-diversify yung mga channels na nakasubscribe ako. Pero, ewan ko. Parang pare-pareho eh. Not just the content, but also the editing, the effects, the sounds. I don't know. Parang, kaya nga kayo tinatap ng brands for your creativity in writing a story for their product. But if it's always the same, same treatment, same sound effects, same concepts, bakit pa, ba? Diba? Parang nawawala na yung essence ng, nadi-disrupt na yung essence ng influencer. Kaya nga, ba diba, for a time, ayaw nilang tinatawag sa ng influencer kasi sobrang naging negative nung word na yon. When it says, when they say influencer, parang, you know, post photos, ganyan, inauthentic. Parang nag nangyari naging ganun from Kaya nga, nag, kaya nga, influencers yung kinukuha as endorsers and not the artistas because they're more relatable. Pero naging yung influencers, because sobrang dami nilang na kukuhang projects, they were able to live like celebrities na. Na, ewan ko, medyo nagiging out of touch na sila. So, ayun, welcome to my TED Talk. I can go on and on and talk specifically about, specifically about influencers and how... I don't know, specifically about that topic. If you guys want to know, feel free to leave, leave questions. Pero, ayun lang. Kaya, hindi pa ako super convinced na gusto kong maging full-time influencer. I'm very happy with my cor corporate job. Wow! Happy talaga sa corporate job. I mean, it's what I studied for. I like it. Pero, nasa sad ako na ganito na yung nangyari sa influencer industry. It was just a span of how many years. And it's not on a downfall. It will still be there. But the way that it's working right now, I'm just not happy with it. Parang di masyado mga hang to. Parang yung cheese lang. Baka next time, dapat yung two times mas spicy na yung bilhin ko. So, yun. That's why I have this channel lang. Partly because... Sobrang love ko mga beauty products. Sobrang love ko nag experiment and I love sharing it with my friends. So, sabi ko, why not record it? And then, the vlogs naman are more for my boyfriend, my mom, yung mga pamilya ko na nasa Philippines para when I can't be with them, I can show them what's going on with my life. Ganyan. So, ayun. That's essentially why I have this channel. Tapos, eventually, I, this year lang naman ako nag-hit ng 1,000 views. And to be honest, guys, so when you hit with 1,000 subscribers, sabi ko pala views, when you hit a, I, what I meant was, uh, nalalasig na ako sa hangang. Sabi ko parang hindi masyadong hangang, pero hindi na ako magsalta sa hangang. Wait lang. So when you hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, you will be allowed to monetize your videos. So akala ng lahat, ganun-ganun kadali lang yan, na when you're able to monetize your videos, the money will come. No. You, the views also have to come, and it needs to be consistent. Kasi si YouTube won't pay you until you reach a certain threshold in a month. So kunyari, sa isang buong taon, maka yung views ko man ay umabot ng 100,000 views, pero in a month, hindi siya maabot ng ganun. 
hindi nila ako babayaran. Kailangan per month, umaabot siya dun sa threshold para babayaran ka nila. Ayun. Tapos yung monetization, it also depends on the number of ads you have in your videos. Ako, personally, I don't like a video that's 10 minutes long, tapos apat yung ads mo dun. Hello, para ka na ding nanood ng teleserye sa Pilipinas na 20 minutes lang yung show, tapos isang oras yung commercials, ba? So I try my best to limit it. If it's 10 minutes long, I put an, uh, an ad in the beginning, an ad in the end, and maybe sometimes an ad in the middle, which is usually before the end, before yung end screen ko. Tapos kapag 20 minutes long, that's when I put a mid-roll. Pero a lot of times, kasi nga, doon nagde-depende yung AdSense or yung binabayad sa YouTubers, makikita mo 20-minute video, 8 ads. Parang, I mean, you do you, you get that bread, pero I don't know, as a, as a viewer, as a YouTube viewer or a video viewer, ako ayoko nun, so ayokong ganun din yung makita ng viewers ng channel ko sa content ko. Mapawisan na ako yung bangs ko. So, ayun. Pero medyo nag-pivot ako sa content ko this year. Dati kasi, kung anong new release dito sa Amerika, yun yung video ko, or yung nire-review ko, ganyan. Pero kasi, wala naman akong choice noon. Yung sister ko, nag-visit lang every October. So, yung mga local brands noon, sobrang October ko lang siya makuha. By the time makuha ko na siya, wala na laos na. Mahirap yun kasi with YouTube, kailangan mo din i-balance yung syempre authenticity mo and make sure na yun yung hinahanap ng tao para lumabas yung channel mo sa sa newsfeed nila kasi yun yung algorithm eh. Hindi pwedeng gawa ka lang ng gawa. Yes, maganda yun, gawa ka ng gawa ng sarili mong content, pero hindi siya serve sa newsfeed ng mga tao. So it's a mixture of both. So this year, I was able to make videos na on local brands na new releases with a one to two week delay. Minsan, umaabot siya na at the height of the launch ko siya na re-release. Kasi number one, of course, I want to focus on our local products, local brands in the Philippines and make sure na alam mo yun, yun yung inuuna kong ipakita and tinetest out kasi ang dami nating products in the Philippines na okay naman talaga. It's just a matter of crab colonial mentality na kapag imported, it's much much better. Pero times are changing. Hindi na ganun ngayon. A lot of the products I, in my room are actually made in the Philippines. Even the stuff that I bought from Target, yung basket ko, made in the Philippines siya. So, ayun, nakaka-proud na mas sumisikat na yung made in the Philippines na products kesa yung dati na isip natin na basta imported, mas okay. Yun yung unang-unang tinuturo sa atin sa school, pero lumalaki tayo na yun pa rin yung mindset natin na dapat hindi. So, yun yung ngayong content ko sa channel ko. A lot of, if you look at a lot of my product reviews, mas madami na yung local brands. I'm trying to expand on it. So, recently, nag-order ako ng detail cosmetics na blush. So, para matry natin siya. Kasi very happy ako sa formula ng lip paste nila. And very affordable siya. Pinapawisan na ako, guys. Whew. Unti na lang. So, ayun. Ano ba? Ano ba? Na yun, sabi ko it's gonna be about me, pero naging parang about YouTube. So, going back. Aside from YouTube, lagi lang ako nag-hangout sa pamilya ko. So, I, I live with my dad, my younger sister, and my older brother. So, kapag hindi ako nag-film, or wala akong pasok sa work, nag-hangout lang kami. Ganyan. Anywhere. Sila lang taga-hangout ko. Hindi ako lumalabas masyado dito. Ewan ko, medyo nahirapan din ako to make friends here. Parang yung connections is just not as deep as the connections I made when I was growing up in the Philippines. And meron ako naging close friend dito. Lagi kami nagka-clash kasi iba talaga, yung, iba talaga yung values nila. And hindi ko siya masikmura. And I'm not someone who would just shove it in the corner and not think about it. Siyempre, if I don't disagree... Hindi <laughs> ba ang hang yun isa? Siyempre, if I don't disagree with it, diba? I need to voice it out. Naiyak ba ako? So, so, a lot of times, hang out lang sa family ko. If meron kayong questions about moving here, I'm happy to answer that. Masaya ba dito? Yes, you can buy all the luxuries that you want. Everything is within reach. Pero iba yung vibe sa Pilipinas. Iba yung vibe sa Pilipinas, especially when it comes to holidays and whatnot. Um, granted, mas comfortable man manirahan dito kasi iba yung pamamalakad. Hindi rin siya yung best government, pero it's much better than the Philippines, I want to say. Ang <laughs> uh 
Open na natin to. <laughs> uh -huh. um, I also took my masters here. So, when I moved here, I knew na... Wait lang! Hot on ten ako. Anyway, when I moved here, Merap ko. <laughs> Tapusin ko na ba to? Lasta. Sige, lasta. <sighs> nalubat yung... Nalubat. Naubos yung memory ng camera ko. So, naputol siya. Pero nag-delete ako ng footage. Para siyang tequila. Diyos, di ba pag tequila, sa unang drink mo, wala kang mafe-feel. Noon ka pa ng onte, unti-unti siyang nagsisip in sa'yo. Tapos doon mo mafe-feel yung tama. Kung oh, sabi ko, parang hindi ba ang hang? Ubus sa'yo water ko. Walang water. Oh my gosh. Ears ko. <laughs> parang may air na <laughs> ganun. Parang sa cartoons. So anyway, I'm gonna end today's vlog here now. Yeah, tama. <laughs> Parang lasting si Yunis. Next time, mag-drunk vlog naman tayo. <laughs> Wala akong pasok sa Friday. Vlogging day ko sa Friday. Drunk vlog. <laughs> Ngayon pa nga lang, para lasting na ako pa. Paano pa kaya yun? Anyway, I'm gonna end today's vlog here now. I hope that you guys somehow enjoyed and I feel a lot better. I feel... Kanina, sobrang nadadown ako ngayon. Parang, ewan ko, masaya na ulit ako. So, ayan. I'm gonna end today's vlog. I'm gonna edit it. I need to edit our podcast episode that's coming out on Thursday. If you haven't listened to our podcast, it's LDF Convos. So, I, I co-host it with my best friend, Jelly, who is currently in the Philippines. So, kaya siya LDF Convos, Long Distance Friendship Conversations. So, if you could give it a listen and follow us on Spotify, that will be will, that would mean the world to me. So yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please stay tuned. I'm gonna make a better version of this. Um, things get to know me better. Just leave questions down below. If may specific questions kayo about starting a YouTube channel, getting into the corporate world, moving to a different country, um, student exchange program. I know that's like not in the books right now because we have pandemia tayo, pero. Ayun, if you have any questions, just leave it down below. I'll try to tackle it in a separate video. Hopefully, guys, leave questions. Kasi hindi ko alam ko anong pag-uusapan ko kapag ako lang, kapag ako lang yung nag-lead ng conversation. Kung saan saan siya mapupunta, I swear, ganun lang talaga ako. But anyway, kanina ba ako nagtatry mag-outro? So here it is. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys enjoy it. I hope that you stick around as well. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Long, <laughs> long!